Welcome back everyone! Today I have this 4x4 piston door for you, which I made together with Soul Banished. And this might just be the best 4x4 piston door that you could possibly make in terms of size and speed. So what do I mean by this? Well, it closes like this, and it opens like this. As you can see, it's super fast. It actually opens in just 0.75 seconds. This is really nice animation because we synchronized the entire last rejections on all sides. Like this. It's super small, only 264 blocks in volume, and just 2 blocks wide. And on top of that, it also works in versions since 1.11 and up. So, yeah, let's just show you how to make this then. Alright, so you'll make these materials here in the chest. Then one item for the dropper, and a different one for the furnace. Okay, so your building area will be 2x12 blocks. That will be 10 blocks tall, and your door frame will be in the back layer, and then maybe 3 blocks below. And the door frame will just be in the center like this. Just a normal 4x4 frame, obviously. Alright, now for our layout. You will have double extenders like this. Single extender on top and bottom of that. And right here, you will have the same thing, but inverted basically. So, singles in the middle and doubles on the outside. And then there's the, the same thing on the other sides. Like this. And like this. Right, so the way this works is on the closing, we do this, and then this, and this. In the opening, we do this, 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 and then we just retract everything. And then obviously the same on the other corners. Okay, so your input block will be right here. And you will start by connecting these uh, single extenders here. Right, so from your input block, place slabs like this. Uh, a block here, three blocks here. We go up with the block. Now we start a little slab staircase up until here. Upper like this, which will be used later. And then a block here. And dust on top, like so. And now we just need a piston right here. And then a block with dust here. This already powers these two pistons here. And we basically do the same thing on the other side, but slightly different. So, we have a furnace here, and an observer pointing downwards here. And the rest is exactly the same. So, just go upwards with your slabs, like this. And when you're at the back pistons here, place this hopper. A block here, with piston. And then just dust. Like this. And block here with dust. And these are already done. Alright, so now we can move on to these double extenders here, and also the singles. So we start on this side here, without the furnace and stuff. Place two observers, like this, into a block. Uh, but first place some dust here, the repeater on two ticks, and place the block. And this controls this piston down here, so it extends at two ticks, and retracts at three, because this observer here actually turns off at three. So, yeah, so this works. Now we will have an observer right here, on top of which we will have this repeater on one tick into a block, which pause this piston when it's up here. Now we just need the final retraction, which is really simple. Block right here, repeat on three ticks, and one more observer into this piston here. Alright, so this side is a little bit more complicated, because this side also controls uh, these pistons right here. So first we need a dropper, which we place so it faces into this furnace here item inside and then a different item in the top slot of the furnace. Now, observer like this. Dust here, repeater on two ticks, so this is the same basically. And now coming out from the server here, two more like this, into a activator rail, and then two observers, and then repeater into a block. So what this will do, the rail gets powered by this block here. We have the two observers, which is basically the same as this. But then for the last retraction, we power this rail again with these observers, and then these here give the last pulls. Right, so now to control these pistons here, you'll have these two observers, and then this piston here, which pushes and pulls the block. But um, you notice these retract too early, it's not synchronized at all. So what we need to do is place a sticky piston right here, rest the block right here, two observers coming on from this one. Like this, and then a block here. So what this does is, uh, when we unstrick the lever, 
resistance block is pulled back and keeps this piston powered so that uh, this doesn't retract after two ticks but instead it retracts when uh, these observers here push away the resistance block here and this is how we synchronize it right so that's actually already the bottom done and we can move on to the top okay so let's just fill in the frame and the first thing we'll do is place two repeaters like this and then also some dust here and here right now blocks on top of those two tick repeater here and then a two tick and a four tick like this two blocks and dust and this is just uh, powers these two pistons here at the correct times for the closing and opening right next up we power these back pistons here and to do this we place an observer with a block sticky piston with a block like this so this uh, block will get pushed here and that dust powers it which powers the piston and on this side we basically do the same just a little bit different because we have no dust here we need to use the rest of the block okay so next up place an observer placing downwards on both sides like this dust here two blocks and two repeaters to attract this piston here and on this side basically the same but slightly different and I will explain why later so dust here block and a, a lamp here the repeater and then uh, sorry an observer the repeater on top so this uh, repeater here will obviously retract this piston here so it will be like this and this lamp gives two pulses right so the first one does nothing but the second one actually does the last retraction here because it's quite difficult to get enough delay in uh, because it needs uh, five ticks of delay until this powers so we just use the lamp to get two pulses and we just use the second one for the last retraction here okay so on this side we still need the last retraction and the way we get it is actually through these two observers so as you might notice the set here has two repeaters this side has one and that's intentional because this will retract later so that this observer won't power this again but actually will power this piston here um, I won't go into the details why this works but uh, it just works trust me and if we test it right now it actually won't entirely work because it relies on the sides but we should see this side working here so yeah this side worked and this needs the sides to work so yeah let's just do the sides right now so we'll have an observer right here and one right here obviously with rails on top and these rails will be getting powered by redstone blocks like this and then just reset this so what we'll have now is a sticky piston here and a sticky piston here so these back pistons need to um, get powered at four ticks in the closing but three ticks in the opening so how do we do this well on the opening this rest of lock here will be removed after two ticks but this is also when this observer turns on so this rail actually turns off after three ticks so we kind of use this observer here as a pulse extender which means that this uh, turns on after four ticks on the closing which is what we want and on the opening both rest of block and the observer here will turn on at three uh, at two so this turns on at three and this is where we get different delays on the closing and opening all right so now all that's left is to control these uh, front pistons here which will be done through these observers here which will power this dust and which powers the wall but for now just keep it like this so the way we control this is by having this observer here and a piston uh, one block lower observer like this a piston here a block like this and the same thing on this side like so and then obviously the dust here and the block so what will happen on the closing this will get powered and nothing happens obviously because it's already here so it doesn't push it up and when you open the door this will uh, retract which gives the first pulse here in the wall and then this will get pulled up again which pushes this back up which should be our last retraction and this is just a fairly standard way of doing this but yeah and if we didn't make any mistakes this should actually be it so let's just test it it closes and it opens all right so fill in your door frame give it one more test 
And it should be working. Yeah, looks good. Alright, so I really like the store and I wanted to show it to you. And I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.